Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor, where Roger and I have returned because it's Wednesday. That means it's Epic Comic Book Wednesday. Every Wednesday, I'll talk about a certain comic book, graphic novel, or comic book subject. Steve Donahue over on his channel will talk about the same comic book, graphic novel, or comic book subject. It is our world's finest team-up that we do once a week. And this week, our comic book subject is Epic Collections. Epic Collections, these big, fat, beautiful trade paperback collections of classic Marvel comics from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. They've collected some fantastic stuff in Marvel epic collections. I mean, they're just magnificent. This is X-Men, The Brood Saga, Volume 9 of the X-Men, has stories from 1982 and 1983. Good stuff. Now, Marvel has pr printed epic collections for a while now, a little over 10 years, and they've printed some great stuff, and they've printed, to be honest, all of the best stuff from that time period, with maybe one or two exceptions. They've printed all of the best stuff already, but not everything is an epic collection that should be, and that is our subject for today. Epic collections that should exist, but don't. Roger and I have Com compiled a list of 12 epic collections that do not exist, but they should exist. So let's take a let look at them. The first one is Marvel Team-Up. This one obviously should exist. Marvel Team-Up was a significant comic book in Marvel's lineup for years and years. It was great. I loved Marvel Team-Up back in the 70s and the 1980s. Great comic book that teamed up Spider-Man with some other character, Thor or Captain America or whoever from the Marvel Universe. Sometimes he would team up with kind of strange, obscure characters that you never saw, <laughs> except in weird places like Marvel Team-Up. It was an excellent comic book, and I can't figure out why this doesn't exist as a series of epic collections by now. I mean, they have Marvel 2-in-1 starring The Thing, The Thing's team-up comic book. Why don't they have Marvel Team-Up? It's inexplicable to me. This is the number one thing. This is the number one comic book I think that should have an epic collection that doesn't. I mean, it should. But maybe this next, this next choice will make clear why there isn't. The next choice is another Spider-Man. This is Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, which when I was growing up was that Spider-Man comic book that wasn't as good as the Amazing Spider-Man. But still, you bought it anyway, because Spider-Man was in it. There are no Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man epic collections. There, there is an omnibus, they did print one of those, but no epic collections. Now, it has been suggested by a viewer, and maybe more than one viewer, that Marvel is waiting until they're done printing the Amazing Spider-Man epic collections. Like, as soon as they run out of Amazing Spider-Man, then they'll start printing Marvel Team-Up and Spectacular Spider-Man. But they're waiting until... But that would be years. They still, got, they still have years left of Amazing Spider-Man material to print in Epic Collections. So I don't know. And plus, they're doing modern Epic Collections now. So they could just print Spider-Man for the next, I don't know, 100 years. So who knows? It's all speculation on my part, but I think I think we should have one of these. Number three, Deathlock, the Demolisher. Now, Deathlock is not a character that we hear too much about anymore. And he was never the biggest character in the Marvel Universe, but, you know, he, he did have a significant little spot in the Marvel Universe. Deathlock would pop up all over the place. Deathlock, a cyborg from an apocalyptic world, Deathlock. Now, yeah, he's never shown up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He did show up in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., that television show that was on for a while. But the MCU seems to be ignoring Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I think they've pretty much disowned that show for some reason. I don't know. Even though that show was, frankly, better than some of the movies they've come up with in the last few years. Deathlock only appeared, I think, in that show. He never showed up in any of the movies. But I think Deathlock should have an epic collection. Why not? We should have one of those. Now, this next one is not a character I particularly like. 
fact, I kind of hate this character. But he he has played a significant part in the Marvel Universe. He showed up in Spider-Man. He showed up in X-Men. He showed up in all kinds of places. Had his own comic book more than once. And that would be Kazar. Kazar. Kazar should have a series of epic collections. I mean, the only problem with them is that Kazar would be in them. But... He probably should have his own series of epic collections. He's got, he's been reprinted in other places, but, you know, not in epics. So we should have some of those. Next, Rom, Space Knight. Marvel has recently regained the rights to, Mar to Rom. Rom is based off of a toy that nobody ever saw or played with, but we all, we all really liked Rom when we were kids, you know. People of my generation. We all liked Rom. Rom lasted a long time as a comic book. And more importantly, Rom was all over the place in the Marvel Universe. He actually became kind of an important character. He was showing up in all kinds of places. And for a long time, Marvel couldn't reprint any of those issues because they lost the rights to Rom. But now they have them back. And they just printed an omnibus. They're going to print another two omnibuses. But they don't seem to have any plans for epic collections. And I feel like Rom deserves his own series of trade paperbacks. I mean, there are a lot of people that don't buy the omnibuses, but they do love epic collections. So, you know, give us some Rom, Marvel, for Marvel epic collections. And this next one is kind of like that. The next one is The Micronauts, which was actually an excellent comic book series, The Micronauts. This was good stuff, The Micronauts. And again, Marvel's gotten the rights back and they're printing an omnibus. But I don't think they have any plans to print epic collections of the Micronauts, which is a tragedy. We need a Micronauts epic collection. Next. Now, this is a truly great comic book series. It was actually kind of a masterpiece. This is the Tomb of Dracula. The Tomb of, the Drac the Tomb of Dracula. Great series. Fantastic. Marv Wolfman, Gene Colan, it's their masterpiece. The Tomb of Dracula has appeared as omnibus volumes. It also has appeared in trade paperback as complete collections. But those are mostly out of print for, for the most part and hard to get. I mean, people snatch those right up. And you have other characters like Morbius the Living Vampire has shown up in epics. And if Morbius the Living Vampire could have epic collections, the greatest horror comic book of all time from Marvel, Tomb of Dracula, deserves to be reprinted in epic form. So Marvel, you need to get on that. Next, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Now they have done Miss Marvel epic collections because they were promoting the Captain Marvel movie in which we have the later version of Captain Marvel, but this was the earlier Marvel version of Captain Marvel. Again, this is a character that's shown up in an omnibus. But as far as I'm aware, there are no plans for epic collections. And there really should be. Because, again, not my favorite character from the Marvel Universe, but he played a significant part in the Marvel Universe in the 1960s and 1970s. So we should have Captain Marvel. And then the next one, it's an absolute crime that this doesn't exist. This is Alpha Flight. Where's my Alpha Flight epic collection? John Burns Alpha Flight. Again, he's shown up in these this team has shown up in omnibus form. The the Canadian X-Men <laughs> Alpha Flight. Again, a comic book that's definitely, you know, for a while this was a big deal Alpha Flight. And I remember buying I think I bought the first several issues of Alpha Flight. And I can't figure out why they haven't done epic collections of this series. It's interesting. They should, though. Why, why don't we have Alpha Flight? Next! Now, this would be another licensed book. But it, it's a licensed book like they've done for Star Wars. They've done Conan, where they've reprinted Dark Horse Conan. They've done Aliens. The Further Adventures of Indiana Jones, which was a Marvel series back in the day. They did an adaptation of, the, of Raiders of the Lost Ark, and then they did this series, 
The Further Adventures of Indiana Jones, which I remember really liking, but it's only been reprinted once that I know of in some volumes when Dark Horse had the license. And I think that's the only time these issues have ever been reprinted. And I, for one, would really like to read them again. You know, they just came out with an Indiana Jones movie, sort of. I mean, there are only three real Indiana Jones movies, but they came out with this, like, weird Indiana Jones movie not too long ago. And you think that would have been the time to print these, but they didn't. I think they kind of knew that movie was going to tank and didn't bother, even though they spent, like, nine gazillion dollars on it. Because, you know, everybody wants to go see a movie about depressed 80-year-old Indiana Jones. I, I, I don't know. Can't imagine why that didn't become a rousing success. But this, this should be reprinted. And they should reprint them as epic collections. So we'll see if they ever do. This next one is kind of a weird masterpiece. This is Warlock. Warlock! Jim Starlin's really weird warlock. Again, you can get this in omnibus form. And there were some complete collections, complete collections in paperback of Warlock, at least one. But I don't think they've ever collected all of it. And so Warlock, he needs at least a couple Marvel epic collections. I mean, come on, Warlock. Hello, Roger and I were interrupted. We were interrupted when we got to the very last Marvel Epic collection that doesn't exist but should. So here we are hours later, and we're going to we're going to finish this. The last one, Nova. Nova from the 1970s. Was it 1976? I can't remember. We probably should have looked it up. Nova, the slightly derivative character, this character idea seemed very reminiscent of Green Lantern, but that's okay. It was a teenage superhero. Marvel, I think, felt the need to have a teenage superhero because Spider-Man wasn't a teenager anymore. So we got Nova. Not exactly as cool as Spider-Man, but I do kind of had fond memories of Nova. And he's been published in a couple places. He's He has an omnibus. I think he's been in trade paperback before, but no epic collections. So yeah, Nova. We should have a Nova epic collection. We should. You would read it. Roger would read it. And so that's it. That's all of them. Thank you for joining me once again on Epic Comic Book Wednesday. And I will catch you next time.